Hi Dresser Cuties, Winnie here. Today we're going to draw Death from Puss in Boots. So let's get started. To draw this awesome wolf, let's first start by drawing the eyes. So I'm going to come right here and we're going to draw a curve coming down. So say about right here, I'm just going to go ahead and draw a curve slanting down. Then from there, I'm going to come in here and draw a curve right here to complete it and connect it for the eyes. So let's come across. We're going to draw another eye. So let's come over, say about this wide, about right here. And I'm going to go up, same thing like the other side. And then once again in this area, we're going to round it off and connect. There. And then inside, let's just draw like a little dot right inside. And then when you're coloring it, just make it red. It'd be nice and awesome and scary, right? <laughs> okay, and then from there, let's come back in here and we're just going to thicken this area up just to darken this area and make this top line darker just to give the eyes a little bit more definition. Okay, there. Then from there, let's come to the bottom. We're going to draw the nose. So come straight down a little bit lower. We're going to give him a long snout. So say about right here, right in the center. Just going to go ahead and draw a soft curve. And then we're going to round it off for his nose. And then connect in the center. And then I'm just going to go ahead and just put a little highlight right here. And then shade everything else in. Then from there, we're going to come straight down in the center. So right here, come straight down with a very small little line. And then we're going to curve up towards the eye. So right here, let's curve it up. We're going to go up towards the eye, nice and high. About right there. So just about the same level as the eye. And same thing over here. So curve up. And give him a big, wicked smile. And up. And then right about here, you just thicken this part up a little bit if you want to draw some more detail. There. And then from there, let's make this one a little bit lower. Then from there, let's open the mouth. So we're going to come in a little bit and we're just going to bring a curve down on both sides. We're just going to open up his mouth to put in some teeth and then just round it off and connect. Then let's thicken that. So we're going to come back into this space right here and thicken the lower jaw. There. And then let's come in and draw some awesome teeth. So I'm just going to come in here and zigzag my way across however many I can fit and the bottom. I'll just put three and then let's see here. And then from there, let's, um, let's add some definition to the eyes. So let's come back up here and about right here. I'm just going to draw a curve going up on both sides and then maybe a smaller one here to give him, make him look more wicked. Okay. So then from there, we're going to come back to the sides right here and we're basically going to draw this kind of triangular shape for the head. So, like a big diamond actually. So let's come back to, to about right here. I'm going to draw a curve coming down. So it's easier for my hand. I'm just going to kind of taper it in. And same thing here. Just taper it into the lower jaw. And then we're going to flare it out. So let's go up. And as we come to here, kind of like where the eye is, this is going to be our furthest point out. I'm just going to zigzag a little bit. Zigzag and come out. All right there and so see how very angular it is and then we're going to go up so I'm just gonna make it easier for myself to find oh, I'm gonna find my center first go nice and high so just kind of imagine I kind of want my his hair to be about this high I'll give myself a point and I'm gonna to start to come down give it a little curl right here as I come down and I'm just gonna to start to just zigzag here and there and then bring it closer to a point. So same thing here. 
and to a point there. And then from there, let's go ahead and draw the ears. So let's put them in this part right here that it slants and we're gonna go up nice and high. Just say about right here, round off the tip and then bring it down. And we're gonna curve it in. And then let's draw some details in here. So this part is gonna be a little bit thicker. So let's come here come down and then about right here you can draw some fur if you like and then draw this part right here so same thing on this side go up just like the other side round off the tip and bring it in and then once again about here you can just draw some fur taper it in and the other side. There, so I got this one's a little bit thinner, huh? So I'm gonna break this out a little bit more. Okay, there, so we have his ears in. So then now let's draw his body. So we're gonna come to the sides right here. We're gonna make him nice and broad, right? So about right here, towards this tip area, we're gonna draw his curve coming down, just kind of like his shoulders. So about right here, bring his shoulders out, and now we're going to taper it down, bring it down. So let's, as we come down, just kind of wobble a little bit. So same thing here, I'm just going to go back and forth and take a look, see how low I want to bring it, uh, say about right there. So now I'm pretty even on both sides, it's kind of like this level to where his jaw is, we're going to stop and we're going to bring an angle line down all the way to the center. So as we come here, let's go ahead and wobble our way down. So this poncho kind of thing that he's wearing, right? So we're just going to bring it down towards the center, go back and forth, wobble a little bit. And about right here, I'm going to curve out a little bit to make it sharper and then connect. Just so it's not so stiff, just to give it some movement. Then from there, you can come back in here, draw in some detail. So it make, makes it look like it's cloth. So wherever you wobbled here, you can draw a little curve. And same thing here. So we know it's clothing. And you can even add some of these creases here. So let's come about right here. Just gonna wobble a big curve. Maybe one more here. And one more. There. Okay, so hopefully um, that helps to give our um, poncho thing here, <laughs> more texture. Okay, so I should have looked up what this is called. But um, that's it for the body part. So then now let's go ahead and draw the legs. So right in between right here, we're going to draw a curve. So let's say about right here towards the bottom. And here, imagine on the other side, we're gonna start the legs. So we're just drawing a curve right there. And then let's begin his thighs about right here. So let's bring this across, so same thing on the other side, about right here. And let's work on this side first. So I'm going to bring it down, I'm going to curve, and just bring it down, just curve it out. And then right here, we're going to bring it down a little bit more, and about right here, bend it a little bit, and in. So we're just giving him a little bit better ankle. And then let's come down. We're going to draw his foot. So go straight down about right there. And then this part is going to curve out for his foot and down. And then just go ahead and connect it with a straight line. There. And so same thing on this side. So just follow my other side. So a little bit faster. So same thing about the same level right there. And once again, come out at a slight angle. And about right there, we're gonna bend it in. 
in, once again, come out, down, and connect. There. And so for some details, let's come over about here. Draw a curve. And I believe there's another curve here. And I think this part is all wrapped up, right? So I'm just going to draw some of these wrappings. To give it some texture. So same thing over here. There. And then, okay, so now we're going to give it some arms, right? It looks kind of funny. So let's draw these awesome hands that are holding these sickle blades. So right in this area, imagine his shoulder and his arms are going to come down. So Let's make it nice and simple. So we're going to bring out a slight angle about right there. And then this part is going to bend down to about here. Let's bring out his arm. We're going to come down to his wrist. So it's going to be thinner right here. And let's say about right here, we'll stop and connect. Then from there, let's start the hands that's holding the blade. So I'm going to go step by step here, very slow. Let's draw a small angle. Then we're going to come towards the center right here. I give myself a point and I'm going to draw a thumb. So I'm going to draw a curve, big thumb right there. And so in this area right here, I'm going to create a little angle. Oh, and before I do that, let's come back in here. We're going to draw three ovals for his fingers. Two and three. And then we can go ahead and curve this handle in. Then let's imagine this is coming through right here. This is coming through that he's holding. And then we're going to finish this part off. So hopefully I helped you with that. Not too complicated, right? <laughs> Hope so. So then from there, we can go ahead and draw the blade. So we're just going to come bring in an angle and let's just angle it again. And we're going to bring the blade all the way down to where his foot is. So let's just go ahead and curve it down. Give it a nice sharp point right there. And we're just going to thicken it up and then come to a point. So once again, let's come right here and we're going to come in at a slight angle and then bring it down. And then come right about here, same thickness. And bring this down. And so I'm going to drag this across to make sure I'm approximately the same area right here, same length, bring it down and connect. Okay, so then now once again, we have to draw this exact same thing on this side. So let's go once again, small little angle right here. And then towards the center of this wrist area, let's go right here. And we're going to draw a thumb. So we're going to come down with a curve, just like the other side. And then this angle for our blade is going to come right in here. And then we need to draw these little fingers, right? So two and three. So definitely turn your paper if you need to, or the paper give you a better angle to draw this. So once again, imagine this is coming through. This is coming through. And let's bring a little bit more. And then before I forget, let's draw this back part of our hand and in and then to draw our blade. So once again, angle. Bring it in and then we're going to bring it all the way down to here again. So curve, point to the foot area. And once again, connect to a point. There. Okay. So let's see here. Oh, and that is pretty much it, except we have a tail that we need to draw, right? So, oh, and also wait, before I 
finished this, let's go ahead and we're going to put in some bandages here as well. The binding surface. And so just go at different angles here and there just to make it less uh, stiff. So you can just change it up. Sometimes make it thinner, thicker. There. And then his tail. So let's come to about right here in this area and we're going to bring it out. So curve, nice fluffy tail. <laughs> and right here, we're going to imagine it coming through and we're just going to finish it off right here. And curve. There. And I think that is pretty much it. So for these awesome eyes when you're coloring, just make them red. Add more definition to them. Maybe make this more of a slit rather than a dot. So they're all done. I really hope you love how my version here of Def the Wolf from Puss in Boots turned out. And I helped you draw him fun and easy today. And if I did, please make sure to give me a like and subscribe so you won't miss any new Draw So Cute videos. See you later.